Welcome to Salema's video tutorial on how to use Climate Studio to perform option 1 of the lead version 4.1 daylight credit. Click on the daylight availability icon in the Climate Studio toolbar to open the Climate Studio workflows tab. The lead version 4.1 option 1 should be selected. First, ensure you've chosen the appropriate climate file for your location in the location input. I'll just change my location to Toronto, Ontario. Second, click on the materials input. Objects on layers without an assigned material will be ignored by the simulation. Floor, walls, ceiling, and furniture all have default reflectance values defined by LM83 if you don't know the real values. You can click on a material layer, type in LM83, and in this case, I'll select ceiling. Third, click on the blinds input and select the add blind command. I'm going to select all of the window reference surfaces in my model and press enter, which brings up the edit dynamic windows dialog box. Here, I can select blind type, blind schedule, and select from a list of predefined blinds in the table below. Please note that blinds are required on all exterior window units in order to meet LM83 guidelines. Also, all windows hosting blinds must be facing in the outward direction, which can be confirmed using the arrows in the model. Finally, go back to the Climate Studio Workflows tab and select the Areas input. Click on the Add Occupied Floor Areas button and select your grid surfaces. You can leave the default values as is. You'll notice that one of my grids is black. This means that my grid surface is facing the wrong direction. I'll just select my grid and using the direction command, I'll flip it. We are now ready to run the simulation. Go back to the Climate Studio Workflows tab and press the Start button. The occupied areas we selected will soon start to visualize our results inside the model while the software continues to run more simulation passes in the background. The simulation is now completed. Results are presented as temporal graphs and by room in the table below. Clicking on a table entry will highlight the associated room grid. You can deselect here. Right below our header, we have a dashboard of important metrics for understanding our daylight availability simulations. The first one indicates the amount of points achieved for the lead daylight credit. In this scenario, we received three credits. This office achieved a 75.1% SDA value, and we can investigate the temporal variations in the two graphs below. Hovering over the areas in our model will give you specific information about that sensor in the results panel. Green represents where our floor area exceeds 300 lux for more than 50% of occupied hours in the year, and gray represents where it receives less than 50%. SDA values of at least 75% receive three daylight credits, SDAs between 55 and 74% receive two daylight credits, and SDAs between 40 and 54% receive one daylight credit. I'll now click on ASE, where we have a value of 27.7%. In other words, 27.7% of our floor area is being exposed to more than 1,000 lux of direct sunlight for greater than 250 hours annually. Orange represents these overlit floor areas, and gray represents floor areas that receive less than 250 hours of direct sunlight. Any ASE value greater than 10% must provide a glare control strategy in order to receive the lead daylight credit. Our automated compliance report will prompt you for this prior to submission. Average lux and percentage of blinds open are included to help you understand the daylight performance of your space. In this case, my office has an average lux of 666, and again I can hover over the grids in my model to understand more about my office's mean illuminance. Clicking on the last metric, we can see that blinds are open on average 81.2% of occupied hours. This will vary by orientation, and you can compare different blind controls by clicking on the entries in the table below. Navigating back to our SDA metric panel, we can select the rightmost PDF generator icon that will give us our automated lead report. Upload your company logo and explanation if your ASE is greater than 10% and press OK. Let's take a quick look at our lead daylight report. The first page gives an overview of our model along with all of the results from our daylight availability simulation. The following pages gives more specific information about our room grids including area, spacing, shading, SDA, and ASC values. Lastly, we have an appendix with software settings, layer materials, window groups, and occupancy. For up-to-date details on the workflow and submission procedure, go back to the Climate Studio Workflows tab and press the Help button. As of summer 2020, the US GBC started accepting Climate Studio reports for lead daylighting option 1 compliancy. Until their online form has updated to allow for this option, please add this language to the special circumstances section of the lead online credit form. Thank you for watching and happy simulations.